Avid really did an extraordinary job and they thought about the creator, not only just the music creator, but anybody that's dealing with audio, whether you're a podcaster, this pretty much has everything on board that you need. When something is easy to understand and comprehend, it makes creating really easy and seamless and streamlined. In the 2000s, I purchased my first inbox, the inbox 2. As a matter of fact, you're looking at the exact one right here. And that beautiful piece of machinery next to it is the new Avid Inbox Studio. Let's talk about it. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am your host, Archie Beats, and today we have the all new Avid Inbox Studio. Now, since the all new Avid Inbox is a studio, it's the Inbox Studio, Today we did something special for you guys. We have an entire vocal chain, a warm audio vocal chain for entire studio going directly into this Avid Inbox Studio. Now that consists of the Warm Audio 251 and the Warm Audio WA73 preamp and then into the WA2A compressor going directly into the Avid Inbox Studio. So the intro audio that you heard is this vocal chain going into the inbox. As you can hear, you can definitely create some awesome music with this. And the reason why this audio interface is considered a studio is because it has majority of the bells and whistles that any creator needs in a studio. You have your inputs and your outputs, your MIDI IO. You also have an output specifically for your guitar amp, which is really cool when it comes to an audio interface. You also have a specific scene and return section at the back of this audio interface. And today's video is brought to you by Sweetwater Sound. For those of you who don't know, Sweetwater Sound is the largest music retailer in the United States with over 40,000 pieces of gear to choose from. So whether you are an audio engineer, a music producer, a singer-songwriter, a DJ, a content creator, they have something for you on there. So be sure to check out Sweetwater Sound in the description below. And if you're interested in anything that you've seen in my home studio, including the Inbox Studio, I have it listed down there in the description as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video. Now, before you get started with with your inbox studio you definitely want to go through your quick start guide this is where you download and install your inbox control pro tools ignition pack and the pdf documents now first thing you want to do is you want to break this beautiful inbox out of the box it comes with the inbox studio audio interface itself as you all can see it's a pretty hefty audio interface it's built with high quality it's very heavy duty the parts are solid it's screwed in really nice and it feels awesome it also comes with an avid signature purple usb-c cable it also comes with a power cable as well and the necessary adapters now you want to plug your inbox into the wall turn on the power button at the back now you can launch the inbox control by either clicking the application itself or hitting the inbox button right here in front of the audio interface then you're going to launch your control panel but first let's talk about some features with this audio interface first of all it is a 21 input 22 output audio interface yes you heard me correct it's a 24-bit 192k desktop usb audio interface and it has four mic preamps two at the front and two at the back it also has a midi io so all of you music producers out there that utilize sound modules and midi keyboards this can be a perfect fit for your home studio it has two headphone outputs. I just love when desktop audio interfaces are equipped with more than one headphone output. It's really convenient and I like that the fact that they are on the front panel of the desktop audio interface. So let's start with the front panel and then we're going to move to the back panel. This left encoder here, as you push it in, it controls and toggle between the inputs. And when you turn it, it controls the levels of your inputs. This right encoder here, when you push it in, it toggles between your outputs. And it also controls the levels of your outputs as well. This 48 volts button here is for your phantom power for your condenser microphones. Since we are using outboard gear, we don't need to initiate the 48 volts. It is also equipped with a Bluetooth button and also a link switch to link your inputs. And with the input button, if you toggle between this, you can toggle between mic, line, and instrument, which is really cool. You also have a pad on board the audio interface as well. And as you can see, the mic, line, and instrument, as we just discussed with the input button, you can actually monitor the levels when you turn up the left encoder right here. And also with your inputs, you have six meters here for your inputs. And you all see these pretty little buttons here. These are your user switches, and you have four of them. The inbox button is to crank up your app to turn it on to pop it up on your computer you have your tuner right here for you guitar players out there the moment you hit that tuner switch 
You can actually tune your guitars by using this to stop it from going in tune mode. Just hit tune again and it's right back. Very convenient thing here. Moving right along, we have a link switch here. We also have a Bluetooth send here as well. You have your mono button here. You also have a mute switch right here. Mute, we can mute it. You see, you, you have the dim to drop some levels there. You also have a talk button right here as well. And then as you can see, you have your main metering right here for your outputs. You can see your main, you can see your alt, and you can see your DIG, and you can also monitor your Bluetooth right here as well. And the other amazing thing about the headphones, speaking of the headphones, is that you have individual controls of each of the headphones right here on board the front of this audio interface very convenient now let's jump to the back of this audio interface starting right here you can see you have your power button which you definitely want to have on you have the avid logo right here you have your power adapter connector input right here at the back and the usb connection that connects your computer to this audio interface you can see you have your midi io here you have midi in and midi out and you have an optical in and out section here this gives you eight channels of eight at mic pre's the monitor out Outs one and two are your alt monitor outputs and the left and right right here are your main for your main monitors the effects loop here is for pedals and outboard gear and you have the ability to do sends and returns the line ends here in case you want to play some cool keyboard riffs live you can plug your keyboard and synthesizer into there and as you can see you have your other two combo jacks right there at the back for your microphones and outboard gear we're going to go through my traditional way of doing tech specs, but let's explain this Bluetooth here. Because as you can see, you have two Bluetooth buttons here on board this audio interface. One is a send to the audio inputs right here. So it takes a Bluetooth signal like from a microphone or a mobile device. And the Bluetooth button over here, as you can see, it has waves going out. So this Bluetooth button here sends a signal to your Bluetooth headphones or your Bluetooth monitors. As soon as you open up the app, you see that it's inbox control of course and you have your presets over here which we have no presets yet <laughs> but this is i like this actual feature it's called the channel focus so if i'm on this channel here which is the one channel i go to the channel two i go to channel three i can actually and i can do that within the app as well i can toggle between the inputs and outputs by just pushing the button on board the audio interface which is a really cool setting to have um it's exactly what it is is a control and you know of course you see you have the mic you have your 48 volts for your phantom power you have your pads your high pass filter and you have your actual metering and controls over here um, we are all familiar with that and you also have an eq section here eq to the DAW inside of this audio interface so you can bypass it this is great so you control it without using a specific plug-in it's actually built in the control panel of the inbox studio and you see you have your hardware input down here which is absolutely crazy i like it it's awesome so um, then you have your software inputs here and of course you can see that you have the main outputs and we're monitoring me talking in real time here and you also have your monitor switch as well we can actually control it from here or we can control it from the actual inbox itself by physically turning up the encoder that's built on board this audio interface and you have your loopback and everything up here midi midi expansion your preference your eq bypass of course and then your phase and then you also have a setting button over here and we're running internal as far as our clock here and it popped up on the screen so a lot of the menu panels on top of this um, control panel are in the preference setting as well it's pretty 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 easy user friendly kind of setup going here and um, I think it's awesome you can also see that you have your you have your alt monitoring your Bluetooth your headphones monitoring your spit of your line effects one line effects two you have your amp as you can see the output on board this audio interface you can even see that output in here avid really did an extraordinary job and they thought about the creator now, not only just the music creator, but anybody that's dealing with audio, whether you're a podcaster, this pretty much has everything on board that you need. When something is easy to understand and comprehend, it makes creating really easy and seamless and streamlined. Well, I really do hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in it, be sure to check the description below. Remember, if you purchase anything by using the links in the description, you help my channel out and I can make more cool videos like this and just have fun being a nerd. We love this stuff, right? This is a very necessary and helpful tool that I think will help any creator, content creator, music creator, uh, musician, um, film composer, engineer at home. 
I really think that this will help you out. And we'd like to give a huge thank you to Sweetwater Sound for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to be great and create. This is your boy Archie Beats, and I am signing off.